Okay, so um, we're here at the stall in the Climate Forum and we just, uh, again, we're at the um, International Friends of the Earth, is that right? Uh, yeah, Friends of the Earth International. And uh, you are... My name is Stephen Hayward uh, and I work for Friends of the Earth Europe in Brussels. Oh, what are you doing in Brussels? Uh, what I'm doing in Brussels is, well, I'm an intern. Okay. Um, so I do whatever people tell me to do. Okay, really. <laughs> fair enough. Um, yeah, as I said earlier, um, there is a big issue with the water resources uh, in Asia because um, a lot of the rivers um, that are supplying fresh water to uh, Southeast Asia or South Asia are actually originating uh, in Tibet. But then um, uh, the Chinese government is re-diverting and damming a lot of those rivers. And uh, actually billions of people are downstream are affected when those rivers get polluted or re-diverted. Um, so, so countries such as uh, India and Bangladesh. So what do you think? Do you think this is an issue for our world? Or how can we make this an issue so that people understand that it's important what's going on in Tibet? Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's a very big issue. Um, because obviously water is itself becoming a, a big issue with the increasing sort of scarcity and, and problems with that. Um, and yeah, as, I think we also have to keep in mind that as well as, as big northern countries like the, the UK and the US causing problems, there's also some big developing countries, places like China, who are causing uh, a lot of issues um, for, the, for the poorer people in the world, the people who are going to be affected by, by climate change and by increasing uh, bad weather events and droughts, which is, is the reason why we're all, we're all here really. And uh, what do you think could local environmental groups do um, in order to raise the awareness um, about the water situation in Tibet? Um, I think the, the main thing they need to do is to start raising any kind of awareness of it, to start telling people about what's, what's happening in Tibet um, and what's happening with, with the water there because it's, it's quite an obscure issue. Everybody knows the name Tibet, everybody knows it's, it's a place somewhere to the far east with big mountains but not many people know exactly what's going on so I think people need to start um, mobilizing and organizing events and trying to say to people that this is as big an issue as as things like climate change and this is going to cause just as many problems for the people in countries like Bangladesh and India and Southeast Asia.